So with our verticals in place now, and now we've got our bracing bracket, uh, which is running off uh, the mudguard and obviously that frame uh, member there. What we can do now is put our cross piece in, and this goes to the back of the main frame and slides just into the back of this here. And that now is our cross brace in place. Um, so we've got, now got our vertical uh, bracing section here. Uh, we've got our verticals and we've got our cross brace. And the next thing here is this is the bracket that holds the, uh, the pin locks in place. And uh, this goes to the front. And that's our pannier on and uh, that looks pretty level to me because I'm eyeing it up along here and uh, that seems to be good so anyway next thing now is to get these pin locks in position uh, get the, uh, the pannier drilled out and uh, we'll take it from there So what I did was I actually just put a little bit of grease into these um, into these rubber bobbins and a little bit on the pins there and that's just helped no end uh, to slide this on and off. But as you can see now I've marked off um, where the holes are going to go for our pin locks and these are our pin locks here roughly in position. When I say roughly in position um, they're not tightened yet but what I've got is I've got a little bit of movement either side um, plus up and down as well and also this member here can be moved. So I've got loads of adjustment in there if we're not that accurate, but I think we're not that far away, frankly. So I think the next stage now is just to go ahead, get these drilled out and uh, get the pin locks installed, come back, get it set up, and then we can make our final adjustments and tighten everything up. So we'll just go ahead and do that. So typically um, these uh, pin lock uh, components here, um, they're a weird size, and I think actually it's imperial. I think they're three quarter because they're just under 19 millimeters. And of course, you know, as luck would have it, I've got a step drill here, and of course it's metric, and it goes from 18 to 20. So uh, we're somewhere in the middle. Um, but I mean, imperial-wise, it's it's just under 750, so it's definitely three quarters. So I think the best thing to do is to. Uh, Step drill it out to 18. Um, I know we're going to be a little bit uh, shy of where we want to be, but we might be able just to kind of wiggle it around a little bit and just uh, get a little bit more diameter on there. So um, we'll have a go at that and see how we get on. Um, but uh, it's not ideal, but uh, we're going to be there or thereabouts. If it goes out to 20, um, it effectively means that we're going to be sort of rattling. Uh, there's 20 there. If we're just going to be just rattling in there a little bit. 
it'll give us a bit more adjustment, I suppose. So uh, we'll just crack on and get that done. That's fine, that's our, that's our holes drilled, and uh, so we'll get the, the pin locks in place now and uh, get it over to the bike and uh, see how it fits. Four millimeter spanner. That's well tight. And then what we have here is we've got these, uh, they're like covers that go over the back. And I think what they do is just to stop any water from finding its way into the through the pin into the into the pannier. But there we go. That's them. That's them installed. So uh, so let's see let's see how it fits now. So that's our pannier installed, and we've got everything uh, pretty much tightened up now. But I'm just going to go around and just make one final check. But uh, it seems to be coming um, off and going back on quite easily. And how to get it off is you reach inside and you release the first pin lock. And then the second pin lock, and then get it clear of the pin lock. So then just lift up, and then it comes off. And effectively, it's just a, a reverse procedure. And uh, locate on the on the L pins, slide it down, and then push the whole assembly back into the pin locks and, uh, and that's it, pretty good. Um, I'll just give you a quick look round and I'll just show you how it, uh, how it all fits together. So here is our lid, uh, let's see how this fits on. Um, so I'm assuming that what it does, it goes right to the very back here, and then drops down. And that's it locked in position. So there we have it, that is our uh, top box and panniers fitted. And, uh, and I have to say, you know, it, it's been quite an interesting exercise, um, just sort of uh, making up the bracketry and uh, sort of drilling and slotting and, you know, cutting everything to size and uh, <laughs> trying to make it all fit and drilling holes in the wrong place, you know, and stuff. Um, you know, that's, a, uh, that, that's, that's all enlightening stuff, you know, but a, uh, anyway, we got there in the end. And um, I have to say, the, the, the Craven product itself, the... the, the um, the quality of the fiberglass, uh, the panniers, the top box, everything like that is spot on. The rack itself, which is the uh, the W rack, is perfect too. Um, the, the powder coating is really nice. It's good quality stuff. Um, but we're a little bit short on instructions. Uh, on my particular bike, we were completely bereft of any kind of a uh, bracketry at all, uh, apart from uh, a couple of bits and pieces. I think for the um, uh, for the rack uh, uh, that went on there, um, but the next stage really is to uh, to get it out on the road because we need to see whether, to be honest, it's it's all stable and uh, it's not going to be sort of flapping about. But I've, I've, I've a pretty good idea that it's, it's it's fairly rigid, 
So I think we should be okay. Now, as far as the uh, the, the bracketry is concerned, um, it really you know is up to Craven whether they take take this up or not. Um, they might have their own ideas of how to do a, uh, a matchless G12 or an AGS Model 31. Who knows? Uh, we'll, we'll just need to wait and see. But uh, but yeah, so it's really just to get it out on the road now. But um, one of the sort of uh, little issues that I've got is that, um, and it's it's nothing to do with with Craven or anything like that, it's just, it's just the way that it is, um, is that when the uh, the panniers are installed, it covers the, um, the the grab handles to be able to, you know, get the bike on the center stand. There's, no, there's nothing to hold on to. So my next project um, is these here, which are these crash bars, um, which I've uh, acquired. Two of them, obviously, for, for each side and uh, yeah, they don't fit. Um, they're from, I believe, a Triumph Bonneville Invader or something like that. Uh, I, I really don't know what that is. But uh, I got them on the internet. They were 120 quid a pair with a load of brackets and set screws and what have you. Um, but they certainly don't fit the bike, um, or certainly my bike. So, uh, so the next little project really is to get, to, uh, to get these fitted. For two reasons, first of all, um, to get the, the bike on the center stand. But secondly, also, if um, the bike does fall over, um, then uh, there's a little bit of prote protection there uh, just to stop the uh, the panniers uh, from being crushed, or at least one of them being crushed. And at nearly 200 pound a pop, it's worth doing, I can assure you. So um, anyway, so that's the next uh, the next little project. And, uh, and I look forward to seeing you while I'm uh, struggling to get these, uh, uh, these, these crash bars to fit, but uh, it should be good fun anyway. And uh, so we'll see you next time around.